we have a small vein here which is interwoven with a schistose rock so you can see iron pyrite amongst your schists slightly argolitic We are going to pull a sample from off here. So this is actually nice in here that's compressed with your host rock. So we're just exploring a logging road. We stopped because we noticed all this oxidization on the rocks and thought it was interesting. There's some exposures running through here. This is bedrock right here. A small little bit of sulfides exposed there. And uh, this piece is the first one I noticed right when I got out of the vehicle. So you can see you have pyrite all throughout the rock. Very interesting sample. So, I think we got our first sample we can send in for an analysis from this area. Second sample, very similar, fine green pyrite. Just loaded in there. Finding lots of decent looking samples. Another huge sample here. Seeing some arsenopyrite. Very nice looking. Some very decent looking samples here. So we're finding hordes and hordes and hordes of these samples. So now we just have to find where they're coming from. More samples. Nice big one here. So what I'm mainly seeing here is 
iron pyrite. Might be a little chalcopyrite in there, but not going to be able to tell unless I have a jeweler's loop to confirm. A little arsenopyrite. So all around really nice samples. So far we've pulled this many and uh, we're finding more. So we are up the road a slight bit. Found a sample here with chalcopyrite, malachite staining. It's not a bad sample. Up the road even farther, pyrite in what looks like scarn. Maybe a bit of chalcopyrite in there. Another road grab sample. More similar samples very nice looking so we went another 150 meters on the road got a little bit of goss in here but i think this is where the mineral is coming from got similar rock type Sulfides over there. So it looks like they just blasted this out for logging. Building roads. So we haven't got a preliminary result in for any samples we take in here. I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and stake this because I know it's not staked and we'll send in our sample right after. If it's not worthwhile then we just won't renew it next year. So you can see rust oxidization everywhere. Leaching of your minerals out of the rock you can see some of the pyrite still in it so this is definitely where that came from it hasn't traveled too far those samples down the ways some of these are looking really nice so probably pull a couple of samples off here you can see just to show you here is a sample that looks identical to the ones down there. More here, more here, and more there. So you have disseminated pyrite throughout here. This is obviously from where there used to be massive sulfides, massive amounts of pyrite. You can see it's just all over the wall here. So anything that's a free mill metal might have stayed trapped in here. A lot of it's probably oxidized out. A lot of the sulfides, chemical, mechanical weathering probably. Not a bad find. So we'll see what the assay results have to say when we get it back. We're going to go ahead and stake this tonight. We'll look around, try and find a few more samples. You can see right there, you have some uh, chalcopyrite, oxidization of chalcopyrite. So you can see all this gray here. That's basically all just pure fine-grained iron pyrite. Who knows what else is in there. We'll be 
definitely doing a couple samples. Looks decent there. There is just gray all over the place. Look at how nice this looks. Definitely calco pyrite in here. So we got 10 samples today. We're gonna send in a few of them for analysis. And uh, by the time you guys see this video, this will be one of our claims. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next time.